Hi, we're here with Blender. We're here to talk about cell fracture, the text and mesh challenges. We're in 267, as you can see on the screen. Hard lapse time is about 15 seconds on the screen. So, we're going to start with basic steps and basic concepts and basic facts, and we've added some meshes to the screen. Um, you see the cube in this icosphere. And we'll add material to prepare for cell fracture. We're going to add an outside color and an inside color because that helps to visualize the result of the cell fracture tool. So, let's do our first cell fracture. I have a preset and I'll try to remember every time to use the same settings but to it's convenient, it's not critical. So we're doing our cell fracture. We look in the second layer. We see the cube has been fractured. It looks like a decent fracture and through experience I, we expect it to be. It's a simple, very simple mesh. We'll scale it along as individual object centers. We inspected it, looks good. We've deleted it and now let's go back to layer one and select two objects just as basic steps about the cell fracture. This is a this is a, an intermediate tutorial and we're not going to great detail about cell fracture but going over some basics just to get warmed up in a little bit of multi-purpose um, some beginners might be might be useful for a beginner to see some of these steps. So our cell fracture was good, we examined it, and now we can delete these objects from layer two and go back to layer one. So we've had two successful fractures on simple objects. This video is primarily about the, um, dealing with text, so we'll start doing some text. Um, this cell fracture tool is a fun tool, and it has its challenges, so um, text is where some challenges start to show up. And we'll show, show some basic challenges in this video, hopefully 10 minutes or less. And um, we'll show some su successes, and we'll show failures, and we're going to show the most common case of text in this video. So we have a text object. It's still a text ob object. It's not a mesh, and we decide to self-fracture. It fails very quickly. There's no result because self-fracture operates on mesh objects, not text objects. So that's our first problem. Um, easy to solve. So let's now take our text, duplicate it, and it's basic knowledge about we have um, converted it to text to the menu choices and we checked for non-manifold edges because that is important and you would have known by inspection there are loose and disconnected edges but we decided to use the menu choice now we're in a cell fracture we look at the results and again I'm sorry. We are. We'll do that again. Use our preset cell fracture, and the results are in layer two. We haven't colored the text yet. We examine it, and we see this is a failure. So we'll delete those. Move back to layer one and we can delete this object because we need to reconstruct it from the text so now we select the text object and to make it more 3D we've extruded it basic step we will duplicate it and again convert it to mesh so 
text to mesh conversion is a basic step. We're examining it. We see that it is more three-dimensional looking. And let's examine one detail because if we look at non-manifold, we see that all the points were selected, or a great majority. Non-manifold is a bad thing. So we'll, we will go ahead with our bad situation and look at the error results. We expect failure. We're now doing a self-fracture. with manifold edges, meaning they're disconnected. The results are a failure. We expect them to be through experience. And back to layer one, we know that one way to, when things look connected but they're not, often we can um, demonstrate this by clicking and control to see the connected. I drag it out of the way and you see that for example, the letter O has four separate pieces. It needs to be one piece. Every letter should be one piece, and we can have many pieces in a mesh. So, with vertices, we remove doubles, and that's the way we connect pieces of a mesh that look connected but actually are not. So, we're ready for cell fracture, and we expect to success now. So, preset, and we've done the cell fracture, waiting for the results. We look in layer two, and we see decent results. Now we'll scale again, and we'll delete it. We'll go back to the text, and just do a, sem a second successful example. We'll also change the materials to the same colors we had for the other simple objects. The inside color is red. primary color is green and cell fracture presets our results will be in layer 2. Now when we scale we can see a little bit of the inside color. You can see a bit of it um, We'll rotate a little for a little bit more inspection. So another successful result. I call it, I use the text so easy as a joke that getting results is not always so easy, but we can delete this and let's go look at a little bit of the text that um, can be read if you pause on this video. Um, but we'll be covered in the next video. So here's some verbiage that you may choose to read or not by pressing pause on your video. So in the next video we'll discuss the next level of problems with cell fracture. And our last example, um, which we'll highlight here, the important point was to convert text to mesh, then to remove double vertices through the menu so that we get each letter is a single mesh and a mesh can contain multiple pieces. So thanks for watching and hopefully part two is coming soon.